a quick experiment with two receiving antennas. The first antenna is my G5RV up on the mast behind me. My second receiving antenna will just be a loop of wire just around the lawn. The reason I'm doing this experiment is that with receiving antennas, the requirements are a bit different from transmitting antennas. Whereas with a transmitting antenna, you want the most amount of signal getting out. With a receiving antenna, you don't necessarily need the most amount of signal getting in, particularly for an HF receiver. On HF, the name of the game is signal to noise ratio. If your signal strength coming in is S9 and your noise is S8, then that's not as good as a receiving antenna where the signal is S6, but the noise is only S3. And so that's today's experiment. I've got about 20 meters of wire. That's a half wavelength on seven megahertz. And I'll just loop it around in a sort of a square. I've just got a terminal block that connects to the wire loop and there's a transformer I've made. Six turns of enameled copper wire on one side and on the receiver side just two turns. So there's an impedance step up from the 50 ohm at the transceiver end up to the antenna loop end. For a receiver, I'm using the FT817. A good thing about it is its menu system, which allows you to switch between the front and the rear antenna socket. That's perfect for doing AB antenna tests. It's in the middle of the day, early afternoon, about 2.30 p.m. and just tuning around 40 meters. because the signal coming in through the loop antenna will be weaker than through the larger antenna. Just make sure that both the attenuator and the IPO is off. Now on seven megahertz, you can tell there's a big difference in the amount of noise. The trick though is we need to find a signal that's audible. The front is the loop antenna and the rear is the G5RV. I'm on the G5RV at the moment.
Just try 80 metres, not expecting much to be on at this time of day, if anything. Here's an instance where there is less noise and I think the carrier signal is more easily audible. Now this is a AM broadcast station, so we're using the loop. We'll just try the full-sized antenna. Not a huge amount of difference there. Getting towards the 31 meter broadcast band, so there might be some signals here. Here, almost no difference between the antennas. Although, up here, you'd expect the G5RV would not be so good. Um, there would be a big impedance mismatch. WWV. You can just hear it on the front antenna. Not a lot of difference. Just jump up to 20 metres.
atmosphere. The signal's audible on the big antenna. Very, very faint on the loop. Well, that's 20 metres, though it's a band that's pretty much a dead loss from here. I hardly hear anything on 20 metres from this location. Portable, though, it can be great. And with these antennas, other people have found that they're really only useful for lower HF bands. To summarise, I didn't encounter any case where I had a better signal-to-noise ratio with the loop of wire along the ground compared to my higher and noisy outdoor antenna. But this is only a particular time of day and for particular paths. Your results may be different. If you've tried this type of antenna and there's quite a few people who have, then let me know in the comments below how you have went.